So, my dude, um, we've had a lot of these calls, haven't we? We've had a lot of these calls, many, many, oh many, God. many calls. And um, I just want to say, like, because this is our last meeting, I want to reminisce for a second. When we first spoke at the very beginning, I remember you, you called me and you're like, look, I took a gap year. You know, it, it didn't really work the first time. And I really want to play college soccer. And then I remember looking at your video and I actually have, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to post it pretty soon with your permission of your video before me and after me. And then like how much, frankly, better we made it, which is your mm-hmm. soccer. I just put it together, but we made it so much better. And then all the stuff we had to do for club and MLS neck, like just all that stuff. And now... Mm-hmm. It's official. You're going to LaSalle. I just want to yeah. say, like, congratulations. And, like, we worked so hard for this moment. And so yeah. just for a second, reminisce with me. Tell me, like, in your own words, like, how you think the process has gone from the beginning to now. Yeah, I think kind of like you were saying, I think especially for my situation, having someone like you helped a ton just because they were just – I guess everything just kind of seemed daunting in the way that like if I maybe if things were going perfectly like I was playing a lot um you know being at an MLS academy maybe I wouldn't have needed as much help because sometimes like I know guys at the academy who have done zero work but have gotten offers just because um they're at a big a big academy like they're getting a lot of minutes. But for me, it was like, I knew I was good enough to play at that level. I've had every coach at every level tell me that, but I just wasn't able to um, get those offers. I wasn't able to get the opportunities. So getting getting that help and just like the guidance, I guess, especially with the video, I'd say the video part was probably the biggest, the biggest thing. Um, just putting things in the correct order, one, editing it, editing it correctly. And then the coach, like the coach interview part, I think, especially for me, because it was such a good, like we got such a good response from him, um, was something I didn't want to do initially. I was like, eh, I don't really think I need that. And I think that might have been the difference maker for a number of the schools who actually ended up reaching back out because they saw that and, like on every call I did, basically every single coach said something about that. Like, oh, the the coach in your video, blah, 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 like talking about that. Or maybe they knew my coach or maybe. Um, so it just kind of created like a, it almost just made it look more professional and more.